Hi guys, this is a video for my AWS series. So today we are going to learn how to connect our Cognito user pool with Azure Active Directory. We are going to configure Azure Active Directory as a third party identity provider for our application. So here's what we are going to do. We are going to create a user pool and create a login with Cognito hosted UI. Afterwards, we are going to plug Azure Active Directory over the SAML protocol. So as the end result, when a user type their corporate email address into our login, they will be redirected to the Azure Active Directory and they have to authenticate against the Active Directory. And after a successful authentication, they will be successfully redirected to our application. So let's get started, shall we? First, I want to create a user pool. So I'm going to search for Cognito. I will click Manage User Pools. Now let's create a new user pool by clicking create a user pool here and we'll give a name my app. Now let's go through the setup step by step. You can choose how your users want to log in, either username with email address or just email address. So in my case, I will just select email address. And when signing up to the application, what attributes do I need to store? So in my case, I will add the email address and maybe the name. Okay, click next step. And these are fine. Click next step. I'm not going to add multi-factor authentication. It is off. And I will click next step. Now these are the default verification messages. Well, I will just accept the default and click next. Any tags? Yep, I will add name, my app, user pool. And I will click next. Click next. Now I'm not going to add a client app just yet. I will just click next step and at this screen we can set up custom triggers. Well, I'm not going to do any custom triggers at this moment. Click next step. Okay, review the configuration and create the pool. Now the pool is being created. Yep, it's created. Now let's go ahead and create an app client for our user pool. On your left side, click app clients and click add app clients. Now for the name, I will type web app refresh token this much time I don't want to generate any client secrets and read attributes and write attributes just keep them as default and now click create app client now please make note of the client ID of this application so I'm going to uh, use an online notepad so the client ID is this this will be useful for us a little bit now I will click domain name because I need a domain name for application login. Here, I can either give a domain prefix or I can set up my own domain. So in this case, I will give a domain prefix. Let me check my awesome app. Yeah, that is available. So let's buy it. Click save changes or rather reserve it. And now this is our domain prefix. So how can we view our login page? So that's very easy. I can click this link, learn more about domain prefixes. And that will take me to the documentation and here click using hosted user pool domain and if you scroll down it will give you the url format just copy this and i will take that back to my notepad and paste it here so basically first you have to replace this part with the domain name my awesome app and slash login then the response type is code client id so that's what we copied it here so let me replace it with the client ID and redirect URI. So let's redirect our application to HTTP localhost 4200 maybe. Now before we access this login URL, we need to set up the redirect URI. So let me just copy this and I'm going to change the app settings. I have created my app client already. Now let me go to app client settings. Click this so that will be enabled as identity provider and for the callback URL so let's paste that our redirect URL and for the sign out URL also let me select the same and as we have already set up authorization code grant select this one and I need all these so I will select all these scopes so I need the information about the user's profile and all that so now our web app client is configured as identity provider for our user pool so let's click save changes. Now we can actually go back to our 
login URL and copy this and paste it in a new tab and hopefully we should be able to see our login and there's a problem actually instead of just the prefix we have to replace this with the domain so let's copy our domain from here go to the domain name and I need to have the rest of the URL as well so this part let me just copy it I will update the notepad so after this domain so here's our domain and here's the rest of the URL okay so let me now copy this again and paste it and hit enter great as expected we got redirected to our login page all right now let's connect Azure Active Directory with our user pool so in order to do that let's go back to our user pool and under federation click identity providers because we are going to add a SAML identity provider because Active Directory's protocol is SAML and when you select that it will ask few configuration information so we need to provide a metadata URL and identifiers so basically what we have to do is we have to get those information from Azure Active Directory and fill it here and configure our user pool and also we have to configure user pool configuration in the Active Directory so what user pool configuration does Active Directory need we need to have this configuration let me go to the notepad sign on URL sign on URL is nothing but our user pool login domain this one okay we got that already and then we need to have identifier URI so this identifier URI is basically our user pool ID so let me go to our user pool and click general settings and you can see the user pool ID here copy that and remember we need to add a prefix in front of our user pool ID so that is this part let me highlight it for you guys okay so basically urn colon amazon colon cognito colon sp colon and then your user pool id i will add this configuration in the description section so you guys can copy next we need logout uri or logout url well you can just copy the same sign on url and replace login with logout then we need one other thing that is reply url for the reply URL, the format is something like this. HTTPS, then you have to add the domain prefix. So what is our domain prefix? If I go to domain name, and my domain prefix is this. Let me copy that and paste it here. And dot auth, dot then the region. So let's see which region I am in. So I am in US East 1. Now if you go to your URL, or the address bar you should find the corresponding region code here so in my case it is USD is one just copy that and here replace it with USD is one or any region code that you have yeah I think that's it so these are the configuration we need from our con uh, Cognito site so now let's go to portal.azure.com all right so these are the configuration we need from Cognito side now we need to configure this in Azure so how to do that let's go to uh, portal.azure.com and then you need to log in to your portal for that you need to have a Microsoft account and create an Azure portal account okay now I'm logged in now we need to select Azure Active Directory here so the first thing we have to do is to create an Azure app if you go to app registration here there will be a button to create a new application click on that then it will ask for a name let's call it my Azure app and the web application type is web app and here's the sign on URL so we have it already here just copy this and paste it in you should see the small green tick here and then click create at the bottom of the screen you guys might not see it click create okay application is created successfully now you are inside the application click settings now you are inside the application click manifest so you get a JSON document where we can add all our configuration by the way you can use settings and add those configuration one by one but I found some bugs in there so I think it's better to uh, just directly edit the manifest so that's safe 
So as you can see, you have to fill in the identifier URIs. So currently it defaults to this URI. Just take it out and go to Notepad and uh, copy this. And inside quotations, just paste it in under identify URS. Make sure you are leaving these uh, two brackets or two square brackets. And then for logout URL, instead of null, let's come here, copy it, edit manifest, replace null with logout URL. Add double quotes as well. And now if I scroll down a bit, you should see the reply URLs. So currently there's one of the reply URLs. Let me just remove it and go to my notepad and select this copy and edit manifest within the double quotes, paste it in. Yeah, so add those three configuration and save it. So it's going to update the manifest. Okay, I think that's it from our Azure site. So we have configured our Cognito configuration inside Azure. Now we need to do the other side. So that means we have to get the configuration from Azure and configure it in the user pool. So what configuration do I need? I need just one simple configuration. That is Azure Metadata Document. Click Azure Active Directory on the left side and select App Registration again. And then you should see the Endpoint tab here. Click on that. And here's the metadata document URL that we need. Just click here to copy it. And let's go to our notepad and make a note of that metadata URL. And it is this one. All right. So let's go back to our user pool. And I will go to identity providers. And I will go to SAML again. So this is the place we need to paste that metadata document URL. So I will paste it here. All right. And for the provider name, we'll call it my AD. And then we have to add the identifiers. Now here identifiers is nothing but the Active Directory domain name. We have to find that. Let me go to my Active Directory. And if you go to Azure Active Directory here, and you can select the custom domain names. When you click that, you should see your default domain name here. You can click here and add a custom domain if you want. But in my case, I'm not going to do that. So I'll use this one. I know it's ugly, but that's fine. So I will select that and uh, copy it. And while I'm here, I want to create a new user as well. So I will click back the Azure Active Directory and click Users and click New User. So we'll call this user Manoj and username should be in the format of the name and then at and afterwards our domain name. So it is that ugly default domain name that I have, right? You guys can always create a custom domain if you want. So I'm fine with this one for now and profile information, we'll give it a first name and all right i'm satisfied with this okay and click create so that will create my user here we go okay so my custom domain is this all right so let me quickly note down my custom identifier so that is our domain name which is this one so i will use this one in my cognito user pool as the identifier and I will check enable IDP sign out flow. So this means if I log out from my application, it will be automatically logged out from Azure Active Directory as well. So that's what I want. And I will then click create provider. Yeah, that should create my provider. Great. Now I need to do one other thing. Let's go to client app settings here. So at the moment we have only added user pool authentication. Now we need to check my Azure AD authentication as well here. All right, so let's click Save Changes. That should be it. Now, if I go to my sign in page and refresh it, I should see a new section for my corporate identities. Great. Now, we couldn't do one other thing. So, that is nothing but attribute mapping. When we are successfully authenticated from the Active Directory, 
the Active Directory will send a SAML response or we call it SAML assertion back to our user pool. So in that SAML assertion, it will include all my profile information. Let's say the email address, name, etc. So we need to do attribute mapping to map those attributes that is coming along with the SAML assertion to our user pool attributes. Because if you guys can remember, we have configured our attributes to have email and name in our user pool. Now we get those information from the SAML assertion, but the names are different. So we need to do that attribute mapping. So how can we do that? You should see attribute mapping on the left side here at the bottom. Click on that. Then you have to select SAML because our provider is a SAML provider. And in the drop down, you should select your SAML provider and click add SAML attribute. Now we need to map this name and the email SAML attributes to the corresponding uh, email and the name of the user pool. Now these SAML attributes are standard attributes. So they have a standard way of representation. And let me go to the notepad and make a note of it. So I will call it attribute mapping and I pasted these two standard attribute mapping. So for name, this is the corresponding attribute name of Active Directory schema.microsoft.com slash identity claims display name and for the email it is slash identity slash claim slash name. So let me just copy it here and go to Cognito user pool display name and this will maps to the name and I will click add another SAML attribute go back to here we'll copy that hope you guys can see this come back here and that should maps to the email attribute in my user pool now these attributes are standard one as I previously mentioned so you guys can find it in the documentations for now let's click save changes okay now let's go to sign in page now before I click my Azure Active Directory I need to do one other thing so let me go to my Active Directory and I will go to Azure Active Directory here and I need to reset the user's password because when I first create it I forgot to make note of the password so I will click my user and click reset password and select reset password now yeah, I will copy the password here and uh, in the notepad I will make a note of it yeah this is the password and my username is or the user's email is manoj at then the domain name Okay, now that is done, let me log out from my main account. I want to log in as my new user. So wait until it is logged out. Okay, now it is perfectly logged out. Let me close this screen. So now I am here in my sign in page. Let's click my Azure AD button. So let's see if we get redirected to Active Directory. Yes. And I will click use another account and my information is this is the email and click next and the password let me copy that as well and paste it here and then I click sign in okay since we reset it it will ask me to reset the password all right now as you can see I am being redirected to my application which is localhost 4200 and it has given me this particular code as well since we don't have an application running at this local address, so it says site can't be reached. But if you go to my user pool here and go to users and user groups, and if I do a refresh, I should see my user. So once you're authenticated from the Active Directory, you'll be redirected back to the user pool, and then user pool will create that user in the user pool. If I select this, you can see the name is Manoj and the email is the email and that is an external provider. And afterwards, user pool will redirect that user to the application, which is this. Okay, I hope this is clear. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.